Um, last topic of the day. Again, short show. We appreciate you guys jumping in. Here's the deal. The college football playoff committee is still planning to meet in Dallas in person every week during the college football season. I am a tad bit shocked. Chris, what were your thoughts when you uh, when I sent you this earlier? I, 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 it sounds exactly like what I would expect from these people. Yeah. Well, we're, we're on a Zoom call right now. How could they not get this done through a Zoom call? I, they want to spend money. They got too much money to burn. I mean, it just it blows my mind. Like it, Listen, I know, I know we have to spend all these dollars because we can't give any to the players. If we show profit, then we get in trouble. So we have to just set it on fire, okay? And, and so we're going we're gonna to pay for private planes because these guys aren't flying Southwest, all right? They're yeah, not, not flying not Legion weekly. Air, okay? They're going to fly private to Dallas, and then they coming out of their pocket. They're going to stay in a hotel that somebody else pays for, and they're going to eat bagels and locks because that's what they do. Well, and see, what I'm curious is, uh, you know, Texas, I believe, has set up a, like, a state of emergency because of the pandemic now, right? Yeah, the, the numbers today. have kind of gotten out of control. That's, t- that's today. You're talking, they won't be meeting until the, the end of October. Uh, they meet every week, though, don't they? No, they don't start. I don't think they start meeting until they put out the first playoff thing. I think uh, they're responsible for watching every week, and then they show up the week of the first one. Let's see. But at it doesn't matter. They're, yeah, they're a, still just setting money on fire for something that's just we just don't need. Here's a, let, let me go on and read off what the College Football Playoff Foundation is. It is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Of course nice. it is. I love the nonprofit. Yep. It's a good way to hide money. It, is, uh, it serves as the philanthropic arm of the college football playoff. The CFP Foundation was formed in 2013 with the introduction of the new playoff system to make a significant difference through the platform of college football. It says the purpose of the CFP Foundation lies in supporting early childhood through secondary education across the country. Uh, the CFP Foundation's primary platform, early or Extra Yard for Teachers, is dedicated to elevating the teaching profession by inspiring and empowering teachers in four focus areas, Blah 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 blah. Um, do you know who the uh, who the chair of the selection committee is this year? No, I know it rotates all the time. Oh yeah, we uh, it, we've talked a lot about him here recently. It's Gary Barta, the AD at Iowa. Kind of surprised. So, I mean, I mean, just it was just his turn. I think it's predetermined. I think they've got a, like a like a rotating list of ads. They yeah. school presidents. So Scott Strickland is on it this year. Todd Stansberry, R.C. Slocum. Um, yeah, I mean, there there were like seven of them that dropped off. Joe Castiglione from Oklahoma is on there. Tom Berman. Uh, let's see, a professor from Arizona State. I mean, just all, all kinds of them. So, yeah, interesting. And they do have one former football player, John Urschel, who is a former All-American at Penn State. So... It, very, very interesting committee. However, they are all going to fly in, and Matt says, uh, yeah, we paused the uh, the phasing plans and stopped elective surgeries today. That's in Texas. And he said, yeah, all of them are coming for the steaks and the beer. Yeah, yeah. I can believe that. So, uh, so I love that this is a philanthropic arm that is supposed to do good in the community, but we're going to burn about $80 million in in just a season. Yeah. Especially in this season yeah. where everything is, I mean, the only reason why colleges are going to be opening in the fall is because of football. Because you yeah. can't have... Because of money. That's yeah, it. you can't have football without having the colleges open. So you got to have some way, whether it's hybrid learning or whatever, you got to have a way for them to be on campus so that you can justify having these kids go out and play every week so that you can get a TV contract. It's kind of ridiculous. I mean, Malcolm Jenkins from the Saints was talking today about how football is non-essential. And I tend to agree with him. Now, yep. personally, selfishly. Well, no, we want it. We want we it. We want it bad. Yeah. No, we want it back. But it is non-essential. Yeah. 
I mean, this is not. And the only reason that it would be essential is to keep some of these businesses afloat, which are not technically supposed to be businesses. They're supposed to be institutions of higher learning. That's right. Ah, it's such a, it's a shame. It's a crying shame. Uh, Damien jumps in on, on YouTube, said nonprofit sounds like money laundering to me. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Well, that's it. Like, why do we need to keep a nonprofit afloat? It's a great question. I'd, it's not a business. Nope, it's sure not. Uh, Matt said they have to come together for the chants, dances, and sacrifices that they make. And then Michael said, what a joke. You know the bill for dinner is going to be crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, the the been... most expensive bill is going to be all those private jets. I've got, I've got an uncle. Well, my wife has an uncle. I claim him. Love the guy. <laughs> who who flies private jets for a living. That's what he does. Does he fly and for he, wheels up or, or just a? No, okay. no, no. Will, wheels, wheels up is a fly-by-night company that just started not too long ago. Okay. okay. This, guy, this guy is Judge Judy's personal pilot. There you go. Right. He was he was re- sent into retirement in 2008, 2009 when the recession hit, given a massive severance to take an early retirement package. And then about uh, 10 months into retirement, Judge Judy called and uh, and said, where's he at? And they said, he is enjoying the life of retirement. And she said, well, get him back. And so they picked <laughs> up the phone. He said, do I get to keep my severance if I come back? And they said, yes. There you go. And he came back. So so he really, good gracious, Michael jumps in. He said, checking out. Thanks, fellas. Gig them. Yeah, short show today, like we said. So we'll, we'll be done I mean, before the 30-minute mark here. We're at 23 minutes. Uh, he, Michael said, NCAA is such a corrupt system. That's the, that's the problem here. This is not the NCAA. This is not NCAA corruption. This but this is, is a, oh, hang on now. This is a part of that because all of these dollars, that the, where do these people get this money? This is all money funded by a sport that has free labor. Yeah, you don't the give NCAA me scholarship pushes. bullshit as payment. Yeah. Nobody would work for that. Not one person alive would work for a scholarship. Nobody. No, I don't believe so. I think you're right. I think you're entirely right. So, yeah, it's uh, It's interesting. But it just goes to show if they're planning on meeting every week right now in Dallas where they're all going to have to fly in. I mean, it, the the miles that you're going to have to go from Iowa, Arizona State, Wyoming, Oklahoma, Colorado. Uh, Ken Hatfield is, you know, he was the head coach at Clemson, at Rice, you know, wherever. Uh, Ronnie Lott, you know, he's in Los Angeles. Uh Let's see, Terry uh, Mohair from Arkansas State. A safe rough estimate is about $10,000 an hour in the air, okay? Yeah. So if the flight is a three-hour flight, it's going to cost them $30,000. That's one way. Then they got to get 30000 back, and that's every week that they fly. That is so much money. I mean, that is millions of dollars. I mean, the people who flights. have billions of dollars, it's nothing. That's why Judge Judy does it. She don't give a damn. But these people aren't fitting that bill. This philanthropic nonprofit is. Yeah. I mean, it's just. Why don't you do some good with that money? It'd be great. It'd be wonderful. It all sounds good when you write it down on paper and make it look, uh, you know, flashy. But, right. and of course, you know, we hate to, uh, we, <laughs> Damien said NCAA works for the mafia. Uh, Matt Miller said, as someone currently in school, if I could work 30 hours a week for free, a hundred thousand dollars scholarship, I a hundred percent would, I still think this should be paid. That, no, 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 no. A, that hundred thousand dollars is a mythical fictional thing. Yeah. It, it just is. What you're paying okay. for school is, is ridiculous anyway. Like, yes, that's a made up number. That's just a made up number. It didn't used to cost that much back in the day. Nope. Um, nope. Not but, even back in the day. Like 10 years ago, it was a third of that. Yeah, and it just continues soaring and soaring and soaring, and that's why so many people are stuck in uh, in debt that they can't Correct. ever really get out of. It's just ridiculous. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, if there's nothing else that we need to hit on, we can go on and jump out of here. Uh, Chris, is there anything you think of uh, that's, that's breaking? That's it. Nope, nothing That is broke. it. Wonderful short show today. We will be back again uh, with everything that we need to hit tomorrow. But we wanted to make sure we got in, got you some of the tidbits that are coming out. Nothing that's a super deep dive today, obviously. But who knows what tomorrow may bring. You guys in the chat have been fantastic, of course. Matt jumps in and said, yeet, yes, indeed, my brother. That is going to wrap up the show. 
Go and subscribe. Make sure you go check out the website. Again, the 20 or no, the uh, the best college football podcasts of 2020 got the post up. Uh, everybody's been sharing it out. It's kind of taken off like wildfire. Definitely a good thing. So go and check out the post. Share that out on your social media pages. And that is going to do it for us. For now, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.